Hello, hello, hello. So today I have received a very exciting package. It is the poi that I ordered in my last poi video. And today I'll unwrap it and we'll see what my first poi looks like. So this is the goods. That's so cute. They come in this little bag. Opening the bag, we have some very exciting orange poi. Very orange. So this is the full beauty of my new poi. That's the little weight. It's like a soft bag, so when I whack myself in the face with it, it won't hurt too much. There's obviously two of them. I'm really hoping that this little metal bit here that seems a bit plasticky will survive my whacking. And then that's attached with this little rope to the handles. And what I really appreciate about the handles is that they are these little loops that you put on your fingers. And I believe that's supposed to be your index finger and your middle finger. And they will stay in place while the poi rotates around you. Last time with the other kind of poi, I got such a friction burn on both my middle fingers and completely scraped off my skin because of the rope constantly rubbing on your fingers as you're spinning them. So hopefully this will be a little bit more peaceful. These are the orange scars, which I really hope will work as flag poi as promised. So that's my first ever pair of poi unpacked. I am actually very excited about this because that's the first ever piece of equipment that I bought for myself. I'm hoping to buy a rope and some silks in the near future, but for now, these will be my little babies. So I'll put these in their cute little bag and I'll head to a park to try them out. I said we're heading to a park, Vara. To a park. I found a spot with not too many people right next to a sunflower field and sadly it was a very windy day to test out my new flowy poi. The orange scarf tails kept getting tangled in the wind. I started off with some basic forward and backward spins and switching in between them. And then my phone fell into the bush while filming. As you can see, I have this lovely filming setup. I really need to get a tripod. Back to the spinning, I immediately realized how much I love these new poi. They are so much easier to manipulate than the juggling poi I played with my first time around. All the switches of direction just made so much more sense and felt so much smoother. Today, I wanted to learn how to switch from a forward weave into a backward weave. As step number one, I realized that I can switch direction with a split spin the same way I do when spinning both poi together. And then I tried switching from a forward weave into a backward split spin. I then tried to see if I could switch from a forward weave into a backward weave and on my first attempt I just did it. And when I tried again later I kept failing and failing. I feel like this is the definition of my relationship with poi. It comes quite naturally to me the first time around and then I tried to figure out the technique afterwards. When I'm learning a new move, I break it down by spinning one poi at a time, and then I try to put both together. So here I tried spinning one poi in a forward weave and then switching into a backward weave. And what I realized is key is that the poi has to keep crossing in front of you to keep the weave motion going. So if in my forward weave I finish with the poi on my right, they have to cross to my left to start a backward weave as I turn around. That made sense, so I tried with two poi again, and switching from a forward weave into a backward weave was alright, but switching from a backward weave into a forward weave again was still a little bit wobbly. And the wind didn't help, of course. Next on the agenda was this up-down weave, where I draw a circle above my head and then at hip level and keep switching, so I tried to break it down with one poi at a time again. And then when I felt confident, I put both of them together. Next, I tried to switch from a forward weave into the up-down weave into the forward weave again, broke it down with one point at a time, and then I did the second one. I played around with which fingers I put in the two loops on the poi, so I tried to switch from my index and middle fingers to my middle and ring fingers. I think it gave me a little bit more control while trying a forward weave while walking in the wind. The forward and backward weave work quite well with walking around, while the up-down weave gives me hula hoop vibes and makes me want to turn around like this. I then experimented further with the handle loops and tried going for my index and ring fingers. I think it gave me a bit more control and stability in the wind, but it probably doesn't matter too much. 
I also have a fire spinning update and another new baby. One of the second year students on my course told me about a fire spinning jam here in London. And so me and another friend from first year went with some of the second years. It was very different from my first fire spinning experience in Glasgow. The group there was very small, which made it a lot easier to ask for help, get someone to explain to us all the safety basics, and teach us some fire boy tricks. Here in London, it is a massive group of people, so it is really good to come with your own group. In Glasgow, they also emphasized wearing cotton clothes. Apparently, it's harder to set yourself on fire that way, and drinking alcohol was forbidden. Here everyone was wearing latex and drinking a beer in one hand while juggling fire torches in the other. I'm exaggerating but you get the point. It was a bit awkward at the beginning as I didn't know anyone too well but in the end I really enjoyed it and mustered up the courage for a weave. They always say you are 90% worse once you set your prop on fire so I made sure I was confident before doing it. This was my second time fire spinning so I decided to get my own fire poi so that I would have to keep borrowing them from other people. I went to Oddballs, which is a juggling and skateboard shop in Camden with a friend from my year as we get a discount there through the NCCA. And fire poi are surprisingly cheap. I got the tiniest ones because I don't want to set myself on fire just yet. And they were 20 quid. I had a quick look at the fire fans, which I believe were 100 or even 200 pounds. So I'll save those for later. In a later, much warmer and less windy session, I had to try whether these poi work as flag poi and to my surprise, they did! I think they looked quite pretty for how cheap these were, and now I'm tempted to buy real flag poi. I then tried combining all of my skills together and switching between a forward weave, up, down weave, and a backward weave. Which was a lot easier when the wind wasn't blowing my poi around. I hope you enjoy following my poi journey, and I'll see you in the next video! Bye bye!